Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emmanuel. And um, in today's video, we're going to be working on implementing the page that shows a list of all the orders that have been placed in the app. All right. So what we're going to do is, first of all, and this is very similar to the last video as well. So first thing, head over to your network service. And to bring that up, I held down Command, Shift, and O. All right. So in your network service, what we want to do is implement a function to fetch orders. Now this function is going to have a completion, so we're going to have um, completion at escaping, and like this, it's going to return void. Now right here, we're going to have results that is an array of orders or an error. All right. Now to build this up, remember we don't have access, we don't we don't have the endpoint set up yet. So I'm going to go to our route and here I'm going to create a new case called fetch orders and this doesn't require any additional information. So right here I'm going to say case dot fetch orders which is going to return an array of slash orders. Great. Now right here what we're going to do is say request and we don't need parameters so the route is going to be fetch orders. The method is going to be get and completion is going to be completion. Very simple, very simple. Now, we want to head over to our list orders view controller. And first thing we're going to do, of course, is to get rid of this entire array like this. And then we want to come right here and say um, progress HUD. So we want to import progress HUD, import progress HUD like that, dot show. Then we want to say um, network service dot shared dot fetch orders and the completion is going to be a result. Now I'm going to need to access self, so I'm going to say weak self so that there's no retain cycle, strong reference. Then I'm going to say switch and we're switching results. We're going to have access to success as orders. And we're also going to have access to failure, which is error like that. So for a failure response, we want to say show error and pass in error.localized description. While for the success, we want to update our orders. And this is going to be equal to orders. Then we want to reload our table view. So table view dot reload data. Perfect. And also don't forget to stop your loading. So progress hard dot dismiss. Perfect. So now let's go ahead and run this. And what we expect is that when you go over to the orders page, we should see a list of um, orders. All right. So the app, the app is loaded. So I click on this and it loads. We see the loader. And we can see different orders that have been placed. So now I can actually go ahead and click on click on grilled cheese over here. And I can place an order for a different person. So let me say maybe Peter Griffin. And um, I go ahead and place the order. So the order has been placed. I go back. Oh, but it doesn't show. But if I go back and I come back here then Peter Griffin shows. And the reason is because we're making this particular network fetch request in our view to load. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that particular block of code into a view did load. Do I already have that implemented? Sorry, view did appear. So um, I want to execute this fetch whenever the view appears, not just when it loads. So whenever you come back from a previous view controller, it appears and it's going to trigger this. And the reason I didn't bring this here is because when you're coming back to this, I want this to show the loader the first time you load a page. But when you're coming back to the page, I don't want it to show the loader. I want it to sort of update in the background. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this one more time so that we can test this particular implementation. Good, so the app is loaded. I come over here, we can see the loader. So I'm just gonna click on fish and chips. 
And I'm going to place this order for um, Eric Cartman. So Eric Cartman, like this. So I'm going to place the order. It has been placed. I go back. It's not showing the loader. But just like that, it's updated itself. So um, this is pretty good. And we're actually done. We're done implementing this. You can see that when you go over here, you can it loads the order. You click on it. You see the full detail. When you come back, it actually makes a background fetch, but it doesn't disturb the user. And then it updates when it gets a response. So um, I go back. I click on this. I can see the full information. I can scroll like this. I see the full information. I can click on a particular category, and then it's going to show me a list of all of the dishes associated with that particular category. So vegetarian dishes, you can see all of these. So um, yeah, this, this is pretty good. So the last thing we're going to do actually is we're going to head over to our main.storyboard. I remember whenever we launch the app, it's actually um, pushing us directly to the home view controller. But we want to move this to the onboarding screen. So let's go ahead and run this one more time. Great, so now we see the onboarding screen is showing. We slide, we click next, we click get started, and it just brought us right over here and it loads the um, view. We can actually even rotate and it's actually supported pretty good. So we click on this, we can see everything here. When you click on this, it's actually gonna bring this up like that. So the app is doing pretty well. If you enjoyed this video, then maybe go ahead and if you haven't subscribed, that is, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button Turn on um, the push notification so that whenever I release a new video, you get informed immediately. All right. And um, I look forward to the next adventure, to the next app we're going to be building. You can go ahead and drop like suggestions um, of what, what particular app you want me to implement. Who knows? I can do that. But anyhow, this is the end of the journey. It's been a glorious ride, you guys. Um, see you guys in my next video. Yay!